foreign languages. Ah, uh, that's all right. Okay, so now uh, our tour start on the cave. I forget the name of the cave. What is the name? Tantanula. Tantanula Caves. Uh, Tantanula. So we are with us. Can I grab your name, please? Jazz. So we have Jazz with us, and she is going to give us a tour to the Tantanula Caves. So. We can, yeah. Shall we begin? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Just uh, ask me any questions along the way if you have any. But yep. uh, the name Tantanula actually comes from the local Boendic language, meaning wind break. Yeah. I'll take this off. We can breathe outside. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So that refers to the big cliff we've got along the side, and um, you're more than welcome to pop up on that cliff top walk if you like, and you get a beautiful view and the area. Yeah. So. This cave was found in 1930 mm -hmm. by a 16 year old boy named Boy Slane. Mm -hmm. He had nine brothers and sisters. Wow. So lots of mouths to feed, and they lived just down the hill um, oh, wow. in a little cottage. Yeah. So big family, small house. <laughs> but yeah. They'd often come out onto the property and look for food. Yeah. So he was up here back in 1930 hunting for rabbits with his ferret. Oh, okay. And just above where this was excavated, there was a little hole there. Oh, okay. And he sent his ferret into this hole mm -hmm. and went in after his ferret and accidentally knocked a few rocks over. Oh, so okay. to his surprise, those rocks made a lot of noise. Oh, wow. But yeah, so he was quite terrified at that noise and ran back home grabbed a torch and grabbed his older brother mm -hmm. they came back mm -hmm. shone that torch into the hole mm -hmm. and they found a pretty spectacular cave oh wow so they were so impressed 10 days later the wow. family was hosting cave tours <laughs> wow i'm very excited to yeah, see it now <laughs> you'll understand when you see yeah. it it's amazing but yeah they hosted tours here for 50 years Wow. And when they did that, there was a white picket fence on the top. We've got a photo inside, but mm -hmm. they would have sent you down into that hole on your belly on a tarp. Okay. So it would have been a lot of fun, but <laughs> very dangerous in winter time because it would have been muddy and slippery. Okay. So in 1980, Occupational Health and Safety said they needed to make it safer. Uh -huh. So National Park Wildlife bought it, mm -hmm. and they still have the cave today. Okay. So they made this big entrance and put paths and lighting in the cave and now it's all safe and it became Australia's first wheelchair accessible cave. Wow. So, That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's only about five or six in Australia, so we're pretty proud to be the first. And because okay. we're up nice and high on a cliff, it was pretty easy to get in there. And most other caves you go down a hole, down some steep steps. But have you been in caves before? Uh, me, yes, in one cave in Tasmania. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the first time in the cave. Yeah? <laughs> cool. So Tasmania is a little bit similar because they've uh, got the same type of rock. Yeah. And the type of rock I'm going to talk about gives it its beautiful colour. Oh, uh, okay. So it's, it's um, the rock above the door there. Okay. It's called dolomite. It's just a different type of limestone. Uh-huh. And it gives the cave its beautiful colour. Oh, wow. So, Yep. While we're in the cave, I just ask we to keep our face masks up above our nose, even while we're videoing and taking photos. That's fine. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, we <laughs> have to do it. Yeah. This time. We it, have to it, support each other and it does suck. follow the rules. Yeah, it mm. sucks, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Keeps also, us safe. Yeah, we can't touch any of the cave walls while we're in there. Okay. Or any of the decorations. So we have some natural oils in our skin. Uh -huh. As soon as we touch them, it's permanent damage. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we take that pretty seriously. Um, okay. And, you know, we still get to show the cave, but mm -hmm. yeah, there is a bit of damage in there. So we just try to stop it as much as we can. Sure. Um, and also, we got to kick to the concrete path because yeah. walking on the cave floor damages it as well. But sure. Let's head on in with that in mind. Yeah, let's go. So, I will tell you in a short way. This is a 16-year-old girl who has by accident, this was discovered. Kiya tha. Wo niche hill ke niche cottage mein parivar ke saath rehta tha. Badi family thi, aath naom bhai bhen the. Or usne is cave ko discover kiya. Chalo, thoda andhera hai. Little bit dark kiya, but that's all right. Okay, and, and yes, let's put the mask up. <laughs> and we can see it's 
beautiful stalactites up on our head. This is a beautiful cave. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a chat at the cave. So, <laughs> as you can see, you can tell why they were started cave tours as soon as they found it. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. So, this is South Australia's most decorated cave. Mm -hmm. And that just means there's a lot of different types of cave formations and they're very densely packed. There's a lot of them in here, mm -hmm. but lots to look at. And it's just a single cavern, so easily accessible and you can do everything in a semi-small space, I guess. So uh, everything you see is formed by rainwater mm -hmm. and it's actually still growing. So oh. you'll sometimes get water dripping on your shoulder as you walk around the cave. This is our most uh, wettest time of year. Uh -huh. So if you look up with my torches, you can actually see some of the water droplets. Yeah. Can you see them? Yeah, it's dropping. Yeah, yeah. so in winter time we get our heavy rainfall and it takes about three to six months for that rain to come through the soil and the rock above us. And it'll end up in the ceiling like you can see there. So as the water drips from the that ceiling, it will leave some minerals behind. Those minerals will build up over hundreds of thousands of years. Wow. And you'll get those stalactites there. Wow. So stalactites are extremely strong. Um, if you were to even try to cut them off, you'd need a lot of force oh. and you'd need a tool to do that. Wow. So they're incredibly strong. Um, as well as stalactites, we have stalagmites Mites, on the floor. Yeah. So that's the water dripping to the cave floor mm. and those minerals building up over hundreds of thousands of years. Again. So they can grow all the way to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Stalactites can grow all the way to the floor. Excuse me. Sometimes they meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. When that happens, we'll get a column. Oh, just yeah. like this one. So this is a really big column. Wow. Uh, we have a lot of columns in the cave. It means that the cave is very old. How many years do you reckon? Yeah. This would thousands of years yeah. <laughs> to build this up. So. It's हजारों साल लगे होंगे इसको बनने में तो ये कैसे बनता है कि जो पानी ऊपर से गिरने लग रहा है ड्रिप बाय ड्रिप जो टपा टप होने लग रही है ऊपर पानी की और वो साथ में अपने मिनरल लेके आते हैं तो हजारों सालों से मिनरल इकट्ठे हो के वो जम के ये पेने पेने स्टेलेक्टाइट्स बन जाते हैं और ये बहुत हार्ड हैं आप इनको कट करना चाहेंगे तो ये कट नहीं हो पाएंगे और जब ये ज़मीन पर गिरते हैं तो मिनरल फिर इकट्ठा हो जाता है और उससे बनते हैं स्टेलेगमाइट्स और स्टेलेगमाइट्स नीचे से ऊपर की ओर जाते हैं स्टेलेक्टाइट्स ऊपर से नीचे की ओर आते हैं थैंक यू फॉर वेटिंग वी कैन कंटिन्यू दैट्स ऑल राइट सो लाइक आई वाज टेलिंग यू आउटसाइड दैट अम अदर टाइप ऑफ रॉक कॉल्ड डोलोमाइट इट गिव्स दिस कॉलम इट्स ब्राउन कलर इफ यू लुक एट एनी अदर केव दिस वुड बी व्हाइट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द लाइमस्टोन रॉक व्हिच वी आल्सो गेट इन दिस केव बट Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the reason we have our, our chocolate fountain is what we call it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a very strong urge to touch this. That's why I'm keeping my hands in my pockets. I completely <laughs> understand. <laughs> so, as well as all those um, formations I mentioned, we've got these ones here. And they look a bit like honeycomb. Yes, but yes. But they're called curtains or shawls. Yeah. These will form when there's a ledge just up there. You can kind of uh -huh. see that. Yeah. Um, or, or like here, that's a better example. Yeah. So the water will pull up on the ledge and drip down the curve of the cave wall. Uh -huh. um, kind of like when you pull water out of a cup, instead of it going straight up the cup, it goes down yeah. the back and yeah. the other way you don't want it. But <laughs> yeah. you'll get these curtain formations forming. Oh, okay. So they're pretty cool. But um, it's, it's amazing work. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see from up here, but I'll get your head down. Yeah. So, you know, I've told you that the curtain, as you can see, how the formation is formed, instead of going straight down the ground, instead of going 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 down the ground, instead of Yes. So, the cave is about 300,000 to 500,000 years old. Wow. 
तीन से पाँच हजार साल पुरानी केव है ये और उसमें हम खड़े हैं तो इस चीज को बड़ा ही नमन और बड़ा ही आदर तो ये जो इतना सा ग्रो किया है उसको लगे हैं इक्यानवे साल बनने में नाइन्टी वन ईयर्स और इसको उसी लड़के ने कट किया था जिसने इस केव को ढूंढा था उसको लगा ये बड़ी जल्दी से बढ़ेंगे बट ऐसा हुआ नहीं सो नाइन्टी वन ईयर्स तो यू कैन इमेजिन के कितने साल लगे होंगे ये पूरी बनने में I'll be in between here and the office. Okay. But you, I forgot my watch today. Uh-huh. So you've got until one o'clock to enjoy the cave. And okay. Just a reminder: just keep our face masks up above our nose, and we can't touch any of the cave walls or decorations. No way. Um, yeah, it is permanent damage. You can actually see. Mm-hmm. It's a good example of what happens. It kind of gets a waxy look to it. Oh yes. Yeah. So, and just keep to the concrete path. Yep. So just at the bottom of those stairs, mm-hmm. there's a concrete path that goes around those big columns. Mm-hmm. It does connect to the cave floor. Mm-hmm. So there's a bump on the floor and a bit of an incline. Just don't walk on that bump or past it. But enjoy the cave in the meantime. So we go around and we yeah, go. Yeah, so that path goes down there a little bit, and, and you can walk around here. And so we just don't go any further. Down, if uh, you'll you'll see a bump in the floor. It looks like this. And we don't go beyond that. No, no. Okay. Um, I do have something you can touch if you want to. Yes, if you. I <laughs> um, I'm keeping way. my hand in my pocket all this time. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit cruel actually. We have stalagmites trying to form on the concrete uh, uh-huh. just below you. So there's one, two, three, oh. and four. But we have a bigger one. So this step here. Yes. There's a little bump on the floor. Oh yes. You can touch that. That's a stalagmite trying to form. तो यहाँ पे भी एक stalagmites की formation होने लग रही है और इन्होंने हमें कहा कि हम यहाँ पे touch कर सकते हैं. Wow. बिल्कुल भी हाथ पे नहीं आया हमने कितना भी घिसा आप देख सकते हैं. काफी मजबूत है. Very strong. Usually it's a lot wetter. Okay, वैसे ये ज़्यादा गीला होता है, पर आज ये गीला नहीं है. Thanks. That's alright, but anything else you can't touch. और बस वही हम touch कर सकते थे. उसके अलावा और कुछ चुना नहीं है. तो इसलिए hands हमारे अपनी pocket में. Thank you very much for showing us. कोई क्वेश्चन पूछना ओके वी आर गुड थैंक यू फॉर शोइंग अस दिस ब्यूटीफुल केव एंड आइए हम आगे बढ़ते हैं थोड़ा तो ये केव है अंधेरा सा है पता नहीं आप लोगों को कैसी दिख रही होगी ये गुफा है और हम छू नहीं सकते तो बड़े कमाल की बात है कि ये छोटे छोटे जो छोटा सा पीस दिखाया था उसको बनने में इक्यानवे साल लगे और तो ये इतने बड़े बड़े जो लटक रहे हैं इनको कितने साल लगे होंगे बनने में तो जो वैज्ञानिक लोग हैं उन्होंने अंदाज़ा लगाया कि ये केव तीन से पाँच हजार साल पुरानी केव है वाह यहाँ से नज़ारा बहुत खूबसूरत है केव का काश थोड़ी और ज़्यादा रोशनी होती तो आप लोग देख पाते मैं कोशिश करूँगा कि वीडियो की बजाय एक दो फोटो अच्छी खींच के डाल दूँ यहाँ पे 
तो आप उसको देख पाए तो जो ऊपर से नीचे लटकते हैं उनको बोलते हैं स्टेलेक टाइट्स जो नीचे से ऊपर उठने लग रहे हैं बनने लग रहे हैं उनको बोलते हैं स्टेलेक माइट्स तो ये काफी अच्छा एक एग्जांपल है तो अब आपको अगर ध्यान हो तो इंडिया में भी काफी इस तरह की गुफाओं में आपको मिल जाएंगे एक अपना अमरनाथ गुफा में बनता है इसी तरह बर्फ का लेकिन उसको जो है एक धार्मिक आस्था जुड़ गई उसके साथ काफी अच्छी घूमने की जगह है बाबा अमरनाथ गुफा तो ये अंत है बिल्कुल इसके ऊपर हमें जाना नहीं उन्होंने मना कर दिया था तो ये केव्स हैं आइए फोटो खींचते हैं कुछ फ्लैश के साथ तो 